Okay, let's face it, we humans are pretty ordinary. I mean, we're no superheroes with superpowers, right? What, you didn't get the memo? But the animal world has a bunch of superheroes. Some creatures live forever, and those who seem to not care about the laws of gravity. Critters that are immune to venom, and those that can run on water. And some of them will send shivers down your spine. So the first superpower on the list is the ability to live without water. Kangaroo rats can get by without water for years. They actually don't mind living without any water. Humans, on the other hand, can only survive three days without water. Human zero, kangaroo rats one. These little buddies live in extremely arid desert areas and have to get water from the seeds and plants they eat. And although it may sound a bit disturbing, kangaroo rats also know how to extract water from their urine before they set off on a bathroom trip. This way, they don't waste a single drop of precious moisture. Well, that would come in handy at sporting events. Now let me introduce you to the Peter Parker of the animal world. Yep, seems like Spider-Man is real, but not human. Meet a gecko lizard, or simply gecko. This critter has a marvelous ability to climb up all kinds of vertical surfaces and can even go for a walk on the ceiling. This gravity-defying feat is possible thanks to the lizard's unique foot pads covered with tiny hairs. They can cling to almost any kind of surface, no matter whether it's smooth, hard, rough, or soft. One more fun fact about these guys is that they lack eyelids, so they always keep an eye wide open for what's going on around them. If you wonder how they keep their eyes protected, here's the answer. Their eyes are covered with a transparent membrane, the cornea. Sure thing, they can't close their eyes, and if they have something in their eye, they simply lick it off. Right, they clean their eyeballs by licking them. I guess that's another superpower. Any supersonic superpowers here? Sure. A one-inch long subtropical shrimp disorients its prey with a sonic boom. Despite its modest size, the pistol shrimp is one of the loudest marine animals. When the shrimp snaps its claws, it creates a sound as loud as a sonic boom. Naturally, this sound stuns the prey, and the shrimp can catch it without too much effort. Now, in the comic world, there's hmm. venom. In the animal world, there's a guy that can be called anti-venom. Opossums are known for their handy trick of pretending to have passed away when a predator attacks them. But that's not the end of the story. These guys are also immune to rattlesnake and pit viper venom. The secret is a peptide that helps opossums neutralize dangerous chemicals. This is the reason why snakes are a favorite treat on opossums' diet. There's one curious thing they have on their diet – ticks. One opossum can hoover up about 5,000 ticks per season, and most of them are picked off their own bodies. Now, imagine a fish that is so notorious that it's called a dangerous fish. It's Mabenga, and it literally translates to dangerous fish in Swahili. This monster lives in freshwater and doesn't mind having a crocodile for lunch. Not a whole crocodile, but Mabenga can take a bite out of them. But to be honest, these guys are intimidated by the crocodiles, the same way the crocs are intimidated by them. Now, you're watching this video on some gadget, right? Well, we all owe the gadgets we have to the electric eels in some way. I mean, all gadgets have batteries, and eels contributed a lot to the invention of an electric battery back in 1800. I know, I know, the batteries have unrecognizably changed since then, but still, the first electric battery ever was invented thanks to electric eels. Anyway, if you see one of them and want to thank them for their magnificent invention, don't do that. Thing is, they can deliver shocks up to 860 volts. You don't want to experience that. Now let's talk about the Count Dracula of the animal kingdom. Nope, I'm not talking about bats. I'm talking about the fanged vampire fish. These fish are known as payara and have two long fangs protruding from their lower jaw. Here's why some people associate them with vampires. Hippos are the beauty gurus, since they know how to save a fortune on skincare. Living under the harsh African sun, these animals secrete a sweat-like red oily substance that evaporates and keeps the animal's bodies cool. Besides, the fluid works as a moisturizer, sunscreen, and antibiotic all in one. 
But they're not the only ones with such a superpower. Mantis shrimp know how to produce natural sunscreen too, but they use it for eye protection. It's all about amino acid pigments, and these pigments act as special filters that contribute to their sharp vision too. That's what I call multitasking. Meerkats have dark patches around their eyes which makes them look even cuter. But these black circles aren't there just to make these buddies more adorable. They also function as built-in sunglasses. The dark fur on the patches blocks the blazing sun, and as a result, meerkats can gaze directly at the sky. On top of that, the sentry, a meerkat that watches out for birds and other predators, can easily see danger coming and alert its mates. Wild goats are famous for their climbing skills, but the alpine ibex from northern Italy is the champion. This critter can climb nearly any vertical surface, defying several physical laws in the process. Interestingly, the animals that do walk on the steepest cliff walls are typically mother goats with their little ones. Large males prefer to keep their distance and use flat horizontal surfaces. Yeah, <laughs> smart guys. Some animals protect themselves with venom or nasty bites, while others use chemical tricks for protection. Listen to this. Some species of millipedes produce hydrogen cyanide and exude it when they feel threatened. Hydrogen cyanide is odorless but highly toxic. One little millipede can't seriously hurt you, but you may have burns or even blisters if your skin is sensitive. Plus, to make the picture even scarier, some millipedes glow in the dark. So watch out, and if you see a crawling spot of light at night, run away as fast as you can. When the bombardier beetle feels threatened, it sprays scorching liquid from the tip of its abdomen with a loud popping sound. As soon as the beetle senses danger, a chemical reaction starts in special reservoirs in its abdomen. The heat from this process nearly reaches the boiling point and also produces special gas that triggers the ejection. This super protection is usually fatal for the attacking insect. <laughs> I guess so. Plumed basculus lizards have an uncanny ability to run on water. First of all, their hind feet are equipped with long toes which have fringes of skin that can spread out in the water. As a result, a bigger surface of the lizard's foot comes into contact with water. Then, when it runs on water, it pumps its legs incredibly fast. This creates little pockets of air that prevent the animal from drowning by keeping it on the surface. Now, fleas can be annoying but it doesn't make them any less amazing. These tiny critters can leap about 50 times their body length. If people could do the same, we would be jumping about a quarter of a mile into the air. Well, let's try it! <laughs> the most curious thing about fleas' astonishing ability is that they take most of the power for leaps from their toes, not knees. So, what's your favorite animal superpower? I vote for the kangaroo rat. I don't like standing in lines for the bathroom. Mm -mm. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.